Yeah, Vicki, it got pretty heated in there. The judge reported there were elevated voices coming from the jury room at times during those deliberations, and court security officials had to visit the room. Jurors then told the judge they were deadlocked on both counts against Hankison and could not come to a decision, prompting the federal judge to declare a mistrial. We try him! We try him! Supporters of Breonna Taylor rallying outside the federal courthouse in downtown Louisville after a jury deadlocks on whether former detective Brett Hankison violated the civil rights of Taylor and others the night she died. Taylor was shot and killed by Louisville police during a botched drug raid. Lenita Baker represents Breonna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer. Of course, uh, Miss Palmer was disappointed, um, but still encouraged because we, you know, a mistrial is not a, a, an acquittal. And so we live another day to fight for justice for Breonna. Hankison, the former Louisville police detective, fired 10 shots into Taylor's window and a glass door after officers came under fire back in 2020. Some of his shots flew into a neighboring apartment, but none of them struck anyone. Hankison was charged with civil rights violations for his actions and faced the possibility of life in prison. After the mistrial, Hankison walked out of the courthouse a free man while avoiding the media outside. Only one black person was part of the jury, which deadlocked on Hankison's fate. Hopefully on the next trial, the, the jury does reflect the diversity of this city. Baker says if a retrial happens, it bodes well for U.S. attorneys based on statements Hankison made under oath. He had argued all along that he could see into the window that he was shooting through. But on cross-examination, he had to admit that he was not able to see what he was shooting at. Community leaders say they'll continue to fight for justice for Taylor. I don't even want to look at it from a black and white perspective. I don't want to look at it from a poor, rich perspective. What happened at that apartment that night was wrong. This is a matter of right and wrong. And Brett Hankerson deserves to be held accountable. A retrial of Hankerson could happen, but that will be determined by federal prosecutors at a later date. A status conference regarding another Hankerson trial is scheduled for December 13th. Reporting live in the studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.